Hello guys, it's Hex. And today I will talk about uh, intelligent uh, intelligent farmer. Uh, at the beginning, when you will want to start the bot, uh, you will see this kind of message that you need to initialize unit in units info. Uh, basically, this info is capacity for every unit. So basically, you need to go to settings, general, and then click uh, automatically set units info. Once it's done, a bot should uh, start to work without problem. But uh, right now, let's go and uh, configure uh, Intelligent Farmer. At least you need to go to map and add some uh, villages to Farmer. Uh, let's say that uh, we will add some villages um, to this one. Uh, uh, also open it's as you can notice there is a new option select village and add uh, i farmer add to selected village uh, selected city uh, you can with the control you can select more uh, villages and then right clicking on it you can add them to selected city which is this one i will add a little bit more so to show you uh, you can also select it by range radius which in this case let's say it will be that bar barbarian only and uh, yeah add to select a city and now once you've added you, you see that uh, it is farmed by uh, cx05 with, by this village uh, I have in this village some spears, heavy cavalry and other troops. Uh, now I'm going to um, iFarmer. I can refresh uh, the view. You can set also interval in here before you start the bot. And uh, then we need to configure uh, set minimal troops packages. Uh, we can add it. If you have uh, troops templates in here you can create your tro uh, troops templates template one let's say like five, one, whatever and then it will be filled uh, but for this uh, in this case i will just simply put uh, low range uh, troops uh, these troops will be mu multiplied every time you will uh, send them I will select uh, active uh, spear range from 2, from 0 to 4, and then I hit OK. So this will cover villages, as you can see, they are covered uh, with the distance where it's from 0 to 4, and you need to see that uh, from is closed distance and uh, 2 is open which means in this case that it will be range something like this village range distance the distance uh, to that point and then i will add a new one which is uh, heavy cavalry and say that i want to send five scouts as well and let's put here 50 and then range from four to let's say eight yeah every village is covered uh, and in this case it will be range from four which is this one uh, to eight which is uh, without eight but it's did th this uh, Mm, side is open. The first one is side of the range is closed, the second is open. Uh, okay, and uh, every time bot will want to try to send to a village uh, these units, it will multi multiply this value. So bot will send uh, uh, 50, then 100, then 150, then 200, but uh, it will calculate how much uh, troops it need to send uh, based on the um, troops capacity of uh, resources to be stolen. 
the same for spears in this exam example uh, spies are not touched if you put there five the only five will be sent uh, bot will not multiply them because they do not carry any resources uh, so this is how you set uh, minimal 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 troops packages for farming uh, let's uh, now talk about these troops packages options uh, send troops without scouts uh, if no scouts on place so basically if for example you will set like a 10 scouts in here but in village you have only uh, 20 scouts uh, so two attacks will go with 10 scouts and third attack if uh, there will be no scouts will be sent without the scouts um, it will uh, give you a report without the scouted uh, resources but you will have information about uh, how, how and the percentage of uh, resources gathered. Uh, the, other, the other option is troops must be at home between. So if you select it uh, and you set uh, the dates, uh, um, bot will, not, will keep uh, the troops uh, between those dates uh, at home. It will not send uh, Troops and you, if you have some operations, etc., you can uh, preserve uh, and save them to, to be at home. Uh, now we are we will talk about wall destroying options. Uh, I think that they are self-explanatory. If wall level is bigger than or equal of x x x, you can set in here send wall destroying package. If you use any troops, send destroying package. Uh, any loses or war attack will be uh, highlighted in here because there is a window of history. There is no history because uh, I didn't uh, run this uh, this bot uh, currently. This instance, uh, I will show you later a few histories. Uh, don't send farming troops uh, until wall will be destroyed. Uh, once you get uh, history information or report where there in the bot uh, in this report will be any loses or there will be wall detected bot will not send any troops uh, farming troops until uh, wall will be destroyed if you uncheck uh, this option uh, then bot will turn off uh, this active village Uh, it will set uh, village to active force and uh, you will be able to send uh, troops by yourself there to destroy a uh, wall and then activate those um, these villages again yeah um, then you have disabled village when wall is detected and travel time is longer than x hours i think that uh, this travel travel time travel time is uh, one way uh, travel time uh, here you have uh, add x rams per y wall levels to package so basically if you have wall on level 2 uh, bot will send 16 uh, rams but if you have uh, level for example 3 bot will send as well 16 but if you have 4 a uh, bot will send 32 um, Rams, if you have level 6, bot will send also 32, but if you have level 7 or 8 or 9, bot will send 48 rams. Or if there, if you will have uh, in, uh, in city only 32 rams, bot will send 32 rams and will try to get some catapults uh, based on the same rules as for rams. So in this case, if you have a level, let's say, 9, of wall in the specific village but we will send we will try to send 32 uh, rams and 16 uh, catapults but if you will not have for example uh, enough rams uh, at uh, at city but we'll try to send 16 of them if there will be more then it will try to send uh, 32 and so on uh, so yeah this is a uh, uh, basic and then you have uh, 
to this uh, wall options you need to add also accompanying troops package uh, so basically sometimes you don't want to send only wall only uh, ramps or wall or catapults so in this case i usually put something like this uh, depends on, on the troops uh, i have um, something like this yeah, can work or anything else can work so these troops will be added to these packages, uh, to these uh, rams and catapults. So rams and catapults will be somehow protected. Uh, this is a base option. Of course, you can de deactivate this village. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Uh, of course, this fan village history, you can then go to reports and find game reports in here. Uh, there is also a new uh, option to filter bot reports, uh, game, actually, bot uh, messages, actually. Uh, intelligent Farmer. Uh, and yeah, yeah, of course, you can complete template city. In this case, let's say we, we have settings for CX05. So I will select it and I can select some villages and simply copy it it will be copied the same uh, the same options from the from the selected city from the template city uh, but you can also select to complete specify things like for example wall destroying options yeah but they, they are the same and uh, yeah, you can also uncheck them if you if you wish there is no uh, no point of copying it and so on. It depends on, on, on your configuration and there you have uh, agenda of the options in here. Um, right now I will show you uh, some history like for example in here uh, this one is good. Uh, history is kept uh, in the bot for seven days uh, so as you can see there is uh, today we are 22nd and seven days is uh, 14, yeah, it's seven days. Uh, it's kept, and as you can see here, uh, there was a capacity based on capacity. You can know how much troops were sent, and this is uh, heavy cavalry, and there's uh, 50 of, of each, and uh, there you have uh, like a capacity of 12,000, 12, 10,000, uh, 200,000, 15. 60 and then you have like a 55 then you have uh, 47 and then you go to a uh, 5000 so basically this village this farm village was full and sometimes you don't have enough uh, troops so bot will send every troops you have in village that's why in this example scouted uh, values are big but uh, bot was able to send only i don't know it's a uh, kind of uh, 300 uh, of scope of uh, heavy cavalry or something like that uh, and yeah then they were uh, some heavy cavalry probably like uh, 1000 mm, or maybe one or maybe more uh, i'm not go good at math uh, at runtime uh, especially when i am recording a video uh, but yeah, uh, at the end you can see that scouted resources are very low, so bot will start to send again. The 5000 is uh, two packages, which is uh, 100 uh, heavy cavalry. Uh, this is a package of 50 uh, heavy cavalry, and as you can see, there were more uh, resources, so bot sent again 5000, and then again 5000 from 5000. Sometimes it sends uh, to 200 and, and uh, half um, capacity, which uh, equals 50. And yeah, as you can see, then there you had a bigger amount of resources, like in here. Uh, and Bob then sent uh, more to grab more. And it's, it's going on and on. And then you have uh, different uh, villages and so on. You can analyze it if you wish, but uh, who cares? Uh, basically, the, 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 the best option is to look at the uh, statistics in your game. Uh, and yes, yeah, that's it. I think that I've covered everything. Uh, 
in the next uh, version of uh, intelligent, intelligent farmer I think I will add something like destroying uh, buildings um, so this farm will be prepared uh, to be a real farm and uh, without any unnecessary buildings but it will be in the future version okay thank you very much enjoy this function i really liked it and uh, i hope you will like it as well bye and see you next time